friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to talk about the 6 best tips and tricks to fix Apple Watch not unlocking Mac issues. Unlocking Mac with Apple Watch is as straightforward as it can ever get. While wearing the smartwatch, simply wake your Mac and you are good to go. Unfortunately, some users have reported that Apple Watch is not able to unlock Mac. If the problem has come your way as well, here are the 6 best tips to fix the Apple Watch not unlocking Mac problem. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First off, make sure your Mac and Apple Watch are compatible. The very first thing that you should do is to ensure that both your Mac and Apple Watch are compatible. Also, make sure they are running the required operating system. Here is the complete list of Mac that supports auto unlock with the Apple Watch feature. MacBook introduced in 2015 or later. MacBook Pro introduced in late 2013 or later. MacBook Air introduced in 2013 or later. Mac Mini introduced in 2014 or later, iMac introduced in 2013 or later, iMac Pro all models, Mac Pro introduced in 2013 or later, be sure your Mac is running Mac or Sierra or later. It's worth noting that all Apple Watch models running WatchOS 3 or later support Auto Unlock with Apple Watch feature. If you want to use Auto Unlock to approve a request for your Mac administrator password, make sure your Apple Watch is running WatchOS 6 or later and your Mac has macOS Catalina or later. Next up, we are going to force restart a hard reset Apple Watch and restart Mac. If the first trick has not sorted out the Apple Watch not unlocking Mac issue, force restart your Apple Watch and restart your Mac. Since hard reset often does the trick in fixing common Apple Watch issues, we are going to count on it to troubleshoot this problem as well. To hard reset your Apple Watch, press and hold both the digital crown and side buttons simultaneously until the Apple logo shows up on the screen. To restart your Mac, click on the Apple menu and choose Restart. Once your Apple Watch and Mac have rebooted, check out if you have resolved the auto unlock with Apple Watch feature. If you have, then you are good to go. Up next, I would suggest you to turn off on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on your Mac and Apple Watch. For auto unlock feature to work seamlessly, both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth must be enabled on Mac and Apple Watch. If the problem seems to occur, even if you have enabled these requirements, turn them off on. On your Mac, click on the Wi-Fi menu and then turn it off. Then click on Bluetooth menu and then turn it off. After that, restart your Mac and then turn on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Bluetooth. After that, go to Settings app on your Apple Watch and then turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. After that, restart your Apple Watch and then turn on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Now check out if the problem has been sorted out. If it has, then it's time to rejoice. Well, it's time to enable disable auto unlock with Apple Watch. If you still can't unlock your Mac using your Apple Watch, try turning off on the auto unlock feature. At times, simply refreshing the setting can help you fix some issues. So let's give it a try as well. Open system preferences on your Mac and choose security and privacy. After that, uncheck, check the box to the left of use your Apple Watch to unlock apps and your Mac or allow your Apple Watch to unlock your Mac. If you haven't yet got the better of the problem, then I would suggest you to sign out of your Apple ID and then sign back in on your Mac. To get it done, launch System Preferences and then click on Apple ID. After that, choose Overview and then click on Sign Out. Then wait for some time and then sign back in. Now check out if you have finally sorted out the problem. If you have, then have fun. If nothing has worked, then I guess the problem could be due to a software bug. And in this case, the best way to get rid of the problem is to go for software update. Apple keeps on releasing software updates with plenty of bug fixes and performance enhancements. That's why chances are pretty high that the software update will be able to help you sort out the problem. To get it done, launch system preferences on your Mac and choose software update. After that, download and install the latest version of macOS on your Mac. 
It's worth noting that if your Apple Watch is running WatchOS 6 or later, you can update the software right from your Apple Watch to get it and launch Settings app on your Apple Watch and choose General. After that, tap on Software Update and then download and install the latest version of WatchOS on your Apple Watch. Else, you can go to the Watch app on your iPhone and then choose General. After that, tap on Software Update and then download and install the latest version of WatchOS on your Apple Watch. That's pretty much it. Hopefully, you have got the better of the problem. If you have found this guide helpful, do like and share it. And I'll see you in the next video with more such helpful tips and tricks. Till then, have a great time. Bye-bye.